This is my balloon knot, which I'm going to tell you um, how I made, because it was pretty um, uh, simple and quite cost effective to make, because uh, I just got little bits that didn't cost that much money. So I started with a big wooden frame, which we've made to hire, so you don't have to worry about making that. Uh, and it's, it's um, an eight foot circle, about that wide, and it's got lots of little holes through it so that you can thread things onto it. So I started with the balloons. I chose like uh, kind of a variety of sizes because if you can sometimes you blow up big balloons um, with a small amount of air, they kind of make uh, a bit of a funny shape. So I made sure I got uh, a lot of different sizes just to um, make sure that they were nice and round. So I started with big balloons at the bottom and kind of made them uh, kind of smaller at the top, although they, they are a little bit mixed, but the idea was the much bigger ones at the bottom. But then I got a piece of wire, uh, after I blown them up and pierced the little top bit that you tie up, and so I had a ring of balloons on a piece of wire, and then I tied it on, and then did the next one, and I kept on going up until I got to the top, and then I did the other side, so at this stage I just had lots of balloons on wire kind of wrapped around and it was quite gappy still so the balloons don't quite sit together properly and there was, you can see that arch underneath so the next thing that I did is um, I got all this ribbon but you don't have to worry it's not individually tied on uh, what I've got here is um, ribbon bunting which we make and hire it's, uh, it's already on binding and so it's quite easy so all I did was just wrap it around and around and around and kind of just tuck the binding just behind the balloon so you couldn't see that and then just tease the ribbon down so that it was just dangling and then I put more at the bottom to make a sort of like a little pool to cover up the feet as well, the arch, so I made a little pool of ribbon. Uh, and then after that it was still a little bit gappy so I put these here which are, you can get on that. Um, these are ball pit balls for children and so to make them what I did uh, was get a um, piece of metal so I think I used the end of a, a drill and I heated it up with the candle so you have to be quite careful and then I poked two holes into it uh, and then I got a piece of wire and it was easier than I thought just hooked it in like this uh, and that's so you've got uh, a ball pit ball on the end of a piece of wire and to change the colours I just got some spray paint, hung them all up on a little washing line and sprayed them all um, different colours to make uh, a nice kind of pastel, pastel colour because obviously children's ball pit balls are quite bright and I need a pastel colours. Also I've got some smaller ones in here, so here I can get some now. Um, this is, same idea, this is a Christmas ball ball and I've sprayed that the same colour as some of these. So these are my two balls. Uh, and then I poke these into the gaps. Um, I, I would suggest securing them, because obviously we've done this for, um, to show you guys how to make it, so I have just poked them in. But if you can have this up all day, I'd just spend a little bit more time sort of securing the wire onto the frame. Uh, after I did that, it was still a little bit gappy. Uh, so I've got a lot of small kind of things going on up here which meant that it, it was a lot more gaps so what I used to fill in the gaps is some fabric flowers I had a kind of a big roll of scrap fabric and I cut little strips about a metre and a half long uh, and then these ones here can get on these up this is just um, just concertinas and then sewn together uh, and then a little bit of wire attached to the end. So I can pipe those in. And then these ones here, so can get on the no. <laughs> um, Get one from the bottom. Uh, these are up. Again, it was just one big long bit of fabric and I've just stitched in and out, in and out, and then um, just pulled it tight. So it's just stitched like that. And then I've kind of pulled it tight to make this nice little sort of concertina. Uh, these were my favourite part. Uh, although originally they were just kind of made to fill gaps, I actually went home and made some more because I thought they were quite pretty. 
So that's the arch, and it, it didn't cost much money because obviously the balloons weren't too expensive. Uh, ball pit pools, maybe about five pounds for two hundred, and then I've got little Christmas ball balls, and um, then obviously if you were hiring some of the stuff you would hire, the ribbon bunting and the arch. So that's how I made this look.